Right, I'm here with Lucas Audley, one of the fastest drivers in both sim racing and the real world. We caught up with some of your teammates in WEC earlier in the season, but I've got one question for you as a previous winner of GT Academy. Do you have any tips for drivers starting out on Gran Turismo? Maybe they just bought the game, maybe on a controller, in terms of how they can get a little bit faster. Well, yeah, it's, you know, Gran Turismo 7 is a, it's a game that uh, helps you a lot since the beginning, so you can learn really fast from the beginning. It's not that, you know, that complex uh, simulator that is really um, uh, inaccessible in, in terms of, of a skill. So, so yeah, my, my advice will be, you know, to, to have a routine, like uh, constant uh, training, uh, like uh, for a few, I don't know, 15 minutes, 30 minutes every day. Mm -hmm. But uh, be consistent is really important to, to improve your, your skills, your, your speed on, on Gran Turismo. And in, in terms of technique, uh, one thing that is really important is, is to look as far as you can on track. Mm -hmm. That's really important on real racing, on real driving in the roads, mm -hmm. and also on, on, on the game. Yeah. Uh, as far as you watch on, on your target, uh, the earlier the info will come to your, yeah. to your brain, so, so you have to really anticipate uh, and, and you will you know, get up to speed quicker yeah. and, and better and you will be safer in real life and in, in, in the game. That's really interesting because anyone who's watching has got a PSVR 2 headset, the way that that's sort of a 3D, you do really benefit and it's a bit more easier actually to look into the distance. Yes. So very interesting in the consistency. One final question which is, we, a lot of people have seen the Gran Turismo movie with Ian Mardenborough mm -hmm. and his sort of um, difficulties in going from sim racing to world racing. You've done exactly the same. What's, what was the biggest challenge from going to sim racing to, to real racing? Well, the biggest challenge uh, in the transition from gaming to, to, to a real race car is, is the risk. You know, in, in the PlayStation you have a crash and you have a new car, you press restart on the, on the, on the controller and you have a brand new car. Uh, in real life you don't have that time to, for testing, it's a very limited time on, on, on the real race car. And, and, and the other fact is the risk. If you, you have to, you know, you cannot, you can't drive 100% on a real racetrack yeah. because uh, uh, you have to, you know, uh, improve your, your speed step by step until you reach the, the, the limit. Yeah. But in, in the game, it's the opposite. You, you just try to the limit mm -hmm. from the beginning. You yeah. make a mistake, okay, I go I step back and then you, you try to, to be on, 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 on the right line, no? Yeah. But uh, the fact of, of, of having a risk or an accident or hurt yourself yeah. is, the, is the biggest difference. Maybe, maybe it's easier in the game to break later because there's no consequence, but in real life, your brain is like, start breaking, breaking, breaking. But I don't want to keep you any longer. A real honor and a privilege to, to speak with you and a real inspiration to many people. So. <laughs> Thank you so much. You heard it here first. Consistency and looking down the racetrack and maybe you'll get as fast, I don't know, but have a lot of fun along the way. But there we go. <laughs> no, it's, you know, it's a matter of, of training and, and, and especially to have fun, to enjoy uh, on, on a real racetrack or to enjoy on Gran Turismo. That's the, the, most, the, the, the most important thing. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.